I have never reviewed a USB mic on my channel before, and for good reason. They're usually junk. However, I was recently talking to Andy over at SE Electronics, and he was very excited to have me test this little mic out. It's called the Neom. Neom. N-E-O-M. Neom. Well, it's a little bit of nerdy stuff, and it's coming right up. So, good day, and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm Billy Madison. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new content right when it drops. Cheers. So, the reason I don't fancy USB mics is simply due to converters and preamps. USB mics have both built right into the mics, and they're usually of subpar quality. Usually. Because who buys USB mics? Not pros. That's who doesn't buy them. No. Pros buy XLR mics, because then they have control over preamp and converter choices, among other reasons. It's control, really. But no matter, I plugged this mic in and was pleasantly surprised by the unexpected sound quality. It's doubly impressive when I let you in on a little secret in a few minutes. But first, what even is an SE Electronics? Chinese orchestral conductor and composer Sai Wei Zhu, who was an expert in Western composition and acoustics, began SE Electronics in 2000, which was Gladiator and The Perfect Storm Ago. He started the company after being invited to California on a scholarship. He found a way to merge two of his passions, music and engineering design. Design, engineering, and designing. Mr. Zhu began by building condenser microphones based on his noted designs. This blew up and SE Electronics soon became a well-known name in the recording world and even remains the only microphone company to ever collaborate with Rupert Neve. And by 2008, Mr. Zhu handed over control of the day-to-day -day operations to his daughter, Ling. It remains a family-run business to this day. But it's a bloody dynasty. Each SE Electronics microphone is still handmade, regardless of the price point and the company invents and manufactures its own parts as opposed to using popular cheap parts. I always thought SE Electronics stood for Sound Electronics Electronics. I thought that seemed redundant, but I was wrong. It stands for Sound Engineering, I think. I have no idea. If you're into recording or music, there is little chance you haven't heard of SE Electronics. They make great stuff. If you're into field recording, the SE8 pencil condenser mics have probably come up in conversation as some of the best mics for cardioid stereo ambience recording, or even instrument miking. If you're into VO work, you might have heard of the SE Electronics T2, Judgment Day which I personally spied being used by Andy Serkis for his The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings audiobook narration. You can listen to that. Go, go do that right now, but, but after this video. You can go to Audible and listen to a sample of Andy Serkis doing his thing for The Lord of the Rings and, uh, and The Hobbit. It's mind-blowingly good. Andy Serkis may be the very best audiobook narrator I've ever heard. And the SE Electronics T2 is an impressive sounding mic. And there's some talk among the high-end mic builders and, uh, you know, mic experts that the SE 4400A may be the greatest mic ever made. I've heard that several times from really, really high-end experts. And Andy from SE Electronics tells me he's going to be sending over a 4400A soon. Uh, so, uh, Andy, I'm holding you to that because I can't wait to try that out. All that to say that SE Electronics is not a budget choice mic company. They make premium mics and other audio equipment, and it shows. So now back to the Neom in particular. Neom. So what do you think of the sound of it on spoken word? Impressive, right? I mean, that's, that's what it's really meant for, spoken word. At least that's what I think it's meant for. It, 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 that's, you know, 
I'll explain. But first, it's time to reveal my secret. I've been recording this entire video using my phone. That's right. I'm going out of the neom, 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 right into my iPhone 11 Pro Max using a cheap USB to lightning adapter. They used to call camera adapters and recording using the app called AudioShare. I chose to do this because here's the thing about USB mics. They do all the preamping and analog to digital conversion right inside the mic. So the output is only just ones and zeros. So since you're bypassing any need for preamps and converters, there is no possible way to increase its quality whatsoever. So plugging this into a sound device's mix pre would yield the same result as plugging into a cell phone. Because all you're really doing is saving the exported file, really, and it really doesn't matter what device you're saving it on. Cool, eh? Well, I mean, only if the mic is decent quality, and this one is. I'm going to get close to it for the proximity effect. Although I am detecting a bit of uh, comb filtering happening here on my, my tabletop. But uh, yeah, that sounds good. It sounds really good. I mean, it's got a nice low end to it. So uh, how about having a closer look at the neom? Yep, it looks very interesting. It's all black metal with an almost gunmetal grill over top a red layer of pop filter material. That color combo looks really sharp. It's an interesting shape, curved on the front and flat in the back, much like my body. It kind of looks like an electric razor. The back features a single 3.5mm headphone output so you can connect your cans directly to the mic. On the front there are three knobs and one button. The button is hidden in plain sight. We'll start at the bottom and work up. The bottom knob is a playback level. This controls how loud your headphones output is. Next we have the mic level. This controls how loud the amped signal is as it's sent along to your digital recorder like a computer or a phone or a tablet or something. Next is your mic gain level. This controls the internal preamp gain. There is an LED light circling this knob and it'll go red when you start peaking. So when that happens, back off on the mic gain and instead adjust the mic level. And finally, the mute switch, which is actually the SE logo. Just press it once to mute and then press it again to unmute. The bottom stem holds the USB-C output. A USB-C to USB-A cable is included in the box along with a small nifty tabletop mic stand. It's actually a pretty attractive little setup altogether. It's cute, you know, cute and futuristic looking. The mic is heavier than it looks. The mic itself weighs 450 grams, exactly a pound. And with the stand, it's 750 grams, which is a little more than a pound and a half. It measures, oh, hold on a second. My measuring tape's way over here. You know, <laughs> this measuring tape was made by a well-known but lazy man named Jeff Lebowski, who we all called the dude. I picked it up at some uh, L.A. bowling alley back in 98. <laughs> anyway, it measures 7 inches from the top to stem, 2.5 inches wide, and 1 and a quarter inches thick. The Neom records in 24-bit and up to 192 kilohertz. It sports the lowest latency in its class and zero latency direct monitoring through the headphone out, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going right out of the back of this mic. Yeah. It sports a 16 millimeter back electric condenser capsule with a cardioid polar pattern. Its frequency range is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, you name it. But if you're on Windows, it's recommended that you download the drivers from their website. I think the primary function of the Neom is for content creators. It's pretty obvious. Like podcasters or YouTubers or live streamers. But it absolutely can be used to record music. So what does it cost? Well, that's the best part. You can pick up your very own SE Electronics Neom from your nearest SE Electronics dealer for only 149 US dollars. So now for my final thoughts. And that's wrong side. Analysis.
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually like this USB mic. There, I said it, and now it's said. Does it beat the SE Electronics 4400A or SE8s? No, of course not, but it's, but it's not meant to. This mic was designed specifically with the podcaster or live streamer in mind. We're talking minimal, minimal setup. It's run and gun. It's, it's like the most minimal, easy plug and play you can get for getting up and running from scratch. You can broadcast from your phone using this mic instead of the onboard mics and increase your sound quality by like a million percent. It looks elegant on camera. I even like the little stand it comes with. I mean, usually I don't like these little stands, but I don't know why. I just like it. It's cute. And here are the things I don't like. I wish the USB mic that comes with it was longer. I bypassed miking up my amp for this review because the cable didn't reach my computer like anywhere close from the cabinet that I was going to mic up. And I wanted to review this mic as is with its own cable and not replace any cables with my own. Uh, so I didn't do it. I was going to do it and then I said I was going to figure out a way and then I said, you know what? It's not even meant for that. You guys you guys play with it. But if you've got a like like a laptop or a tablet or a phone next to you on your desk or whatever, then you're all set. Right out of the box, you're ready to go. Which is why I think it was designed with that purpose in mind. And uh, that's about it. I fully recommend this mic to any podcaster or YouTube host or live streamer who's interested in upgrading their sound quality without having to, you know, invest or in an interface or any additional gear. Or for those who are traveling and need something to plug in and, you know, begin with almost zero setup. If you're looking at more pro applications like, you know, like music recording or the like, I'd recommend going to the 4400A or the T2 with XLR outs and more control over your preamp and converter choices. And that'll just about do it for me. Extra special thanks to my producers here at the Time Preservation Society. Each and every one of you help support my channel as members here, and I really, really appreciate it. So here, have some cool movie titles. If you'd uh, like to help keep my channel alive as well, please, if you haven't, hit that join button and become a member here. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everybody my age pees their pants. It's the coolest. Bye now. End transmission. Can't do the focus thing because uh, new camera, and I'm actually using my phone to record this. I'm using it as a remote. Watch these other videos. Thank you. Goodbye.